If you're a creative person, chances are you have some lingering self-doubt. We can really get into these cycles of not feeling good enough. Maybe we have a good stretch where we're productive and we're proud of our artwork, we're proud of our job performance, we're really flying high, but sometimes it cycles all the way back to feeling like, are we really making any progress? Maybe we're not even really all that good at what we do. And although this seems to be like a really natural thing, it's the life cycle of being an artist, it's also a sign of some deeper work that we may need to do on ourselves. Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Roger and I create content for creative people and artists to empower them to sustain their creative and artistic expression, to sustain the life of a creative person. And a lot of us creative people will end up self-sabotaging, will end up getting in this great cycle, but then the roller coaster dips down and sometimes we never recover from it. Sometimes we end up feeling like, eh, I'm not doing this anymore. But really the underlying cause or the root cause to most of our feelings of not being good enough come from a deep worthiness wound that stemmed from childhood, that stemmed from some trauma that we experienced while we were growing up. And that root cause of that trauma, it's, it's beneath the surface, but what ends up growing from it is unconscious fear. It's a finicky ego. It's self-esteem issues. It's feeling of unworthiness and feelings of not being good enough, especially in our creative expression, our outlets. Maybe we're not getting the response that we want. Boom, we're triggered. We're not good enough. I mean, this also affects us maybe in our personal lives. When we go out there and we ask someone out and they reject us, boom, triggered. We're not good enough. We're not attractive enough. If our boss gives a promotion to somebody, doesn't give it to us, boom, we're not good enough. It's so easy to get triggered and to look for those ways that we're not good enough when we have this root underneath the surface it's like a weed in our garden that we need to pull out from the root but the first thing that we need to do is find the weed we need to find where it is in our garden but most of us are actually doing the opposite. We're actually looking externally. We're looking for ways to prove ourselves wrong. We're looking for things externally that are gonna prove to us that we don't have a weed in our garden. No, look at all this cool stuff I have going on. Look at all this, look at all this. See, I am good enough. See, I am good enough. We're trying to prove to other people and to ourselves that we are good enough. And a lot of times what us artists and creative people do to mask it all is to be overproductive, to be as productive as possible so that we are laser focused and tunnel visioned on not thinking about the weed in our garden. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. Instead, what we focus on is being productive. But where does that end up? Right back into the cycle of burning out and feeling like we're not doing enough, like we're not good enough. And I'm as guilty of this as anybody. I'm somebody that would historically just move from one relationship to the other to the other. I would date one girl for years and then in a matter of months, I would find myself in a relationship with another chick that would last years. I was a serial monogamous going from person to person to person. And the reason I was doing that was because when I was in a relationship, I had someone proving to me that I was good enough. I had validation source. However, the minute that chick would start doing something on her own, boom, I would get triggered. I would start realizing, wow, she doesn't want to spend time with me. Maybe I'm not actually good enough. It was so easy to get triggered because what I ended up creating for myself was a codependent relationship. 
and I would distract myself with going to shows, going to this, going to that, saying yes to everything, when really what was going on for me was I was ignoring the weed in my garden. And you know what happens to that weed? It grows, it keeps growing. Every season it comes back stronger because it's never getting addressed, it's just getting ignored. But you know what it also is? It's getting triggered sometimes because it has thorns. And every once in a while, we're so sensitive that it pokes us, that thorn pokes us and reminds us that we're triggered. We have a wound when we post something on social media and nobody interacts with it. Boom, we're triggered. Our thorn is poked. We're not good enough. We don't look good enough. We're not cool enough. We're not doing cool enough shit. Our art isn't cool enough. We're not good enough. So ultimately what the solution is, is number one, self-awareness. We have to recognize that if we have these behavior patterns, if we're getting triggered by these types of things, it's not a surface level thing. It's a deep wound. And we need to ask ourselves, where is it coming from? For me personally, I had a mother that was pushing me all the time to get better and better grades, even though I wasn't a good student. I couldn't focus. I had my imagination running wild. I was not good at reading comprehension. They put me in elementary school, they would put me in a class with Spanish speaking kids, ESL kids, English as a second language. I was with those kids in elementary school because I was so poor at reading comprehension. Spoiler alert, I don't speak Spanish. And shout out to those kids, by the way, because those kids actually helped me a lot. Those kids were, they recognized my struggles and those kids in that class actually really helped me with my comprehension skills. But anyway, having a mother that was telling me that the things I was doing was not good enough developed an inner parent, an inner dialogue where things that I was doing was not good enough in my adult life. Even moving out from my mom, not really talking to my mom, being on my own here, I still have that voice that will come around and tell me that what I'm doing is not good enough. And once I had that self-awareness, now it's time to start doing the work. Now it's time to start putting our gardening gloves on, going out in our garden and seeing where the fuck is this weed? Where is this thing that I've been ignoring? And you know what? It's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna look like one of these plants. It's gonna be a big weed because it's been in your life for the entirety of your life. So it's gonna be something that we might need to bring some tools. We might need to bring some, a, a hacksaw, you know, some clippers, some shears. We need to bring things that are gonna help us address this issue. And for me, I was going about it. Number one, my best tool was meditation. Meditation, affirmations, self-help books, and therapy. Things that were telling me that I was worthy because I was starting to do the work. And I wasn't just saying affirmations like, I'm good enough, I'm good enough, I'm good enough. I was actually looking at what I was doing from day to day, being a good person, walking a positive path, trying to spread my knowledge to help other people, taking time out of my day to go to a park and talk to myself about the things that I've learned to try to help you. Like these are the things that are telling me that I'm doing something good here. I'm valuable on this planet. I'm giving back. Volunteering is also a really great way to find purpose for yourself and to really grasp the fact that you're fucking worthy. If you're an artist on this planet, we need you. If you're a creative person on this planet, we need you need you. You think outside the box. You can feel when something's off. You're intuitive. You know how to get your emotions in here into something out there, whether it's painting, music, poetry, writing, whatever it is. Those are the things that we need 
even though society is not gonna pay you, they're gonna tell you that you need to get a job at this factory, whatever you gotta do, the only thing that we need to do as artists is to survive and to create. So when we can address that wound that we're not worthy, we're not good enough, pull that fucking weed out and we realize that we're actually needed here. Our artistic expression is something that makes the world a better place. Our presence is making the world a better place. When we can really grasp that concept and start doing the work, we will be more confident in ourselves as a person and more confident in ourselves as an artist. And that's the point, man, because this unconscious fear and this worry and, and getting triggered from this and getting triggered from that, it's all things that will culminate in self sabotage. I've done it to myself. I've done it. I've seen it in tons of other creators too. They'll try to do this. They'll get all this momentum, but if they don't get the results that they are expecting or hoping for or wishing for, then they burn out. They realize it's not good enough. I'm not good enough. And they self sabotage. It's all about the growth. It's all about evolving the next level to the next level to the next level. You're at a level right now and to get to the next level of being an artist you have to sometimes get to the next level of being a person and that's the reason I'm here y'all to help you awaken become more self-aware become more positive and sustain your life as an artist so if you're down with all that please subscribe to the channel and see the other things that I'm putting out to help people like you. If you resonate with this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Even if it's just a fist emoji, just leave a comment. It makes an impact on my channel. It makes an impact on my reach to the algorithm. And to further empower yourself, I started making affirmations videos, which I'll put in this playlist right here. It's affirmations videos specifically for creative people and artists. Another thing I've been doing Doing to do the work is to read self-help books and to read things that will shift my perspective of myself. And the last book review I did was on the power of positive thinking, which I highly recommend to creative people. And that video is going to be right here. So I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.